I'm Jeremy Warner with your Daily Dish. Kofi Coburn tweeted on Tuesday that he has an announcement to make on Wednesday. Given that the deadline to declare for the NBA draft is on Sunday, we can presume Coburn will announce a decision about where he intends to play basketball next season, barring some joke on all of us that involves him announcing dinner plans. Coburn likely has two options, and both are great options. First, Coburn could decide to make the leap to the pros, and I'd find it hard for anyone to knock that choice. Coburn can't accomplish much more individually at the college level. He's a two-time All-American, one of the best players all time at Illinois, and another season in college likely won't change his NBA draft stock. He's also 22 years old already and will be 23 by the time he plays his next basketball game. Is it risky to go pro with lucrative NIL deals on the table? Maybe, but maybe Coburn is done with going to class. Maybe he wants to bet on himself. The worst case scenario for Coburn is a lucrative overseas contract. The other option, of course, is to return to Illinois and to college, where in today's age of name, image, and likeness, Coburn is likely guaranteed to make the most money playing college basketball next year. Coburn is a bit more of a rare breed in that he's a dominant college basketball player who isn't valued as highly by the NBA because his physical low post game doesn't exactly translate to today's more wide open NBA that values skill, shooting, and defensive versatility. Most don't expect Coburn to get drafted, but the best case scenario is that he's a second round draft pick who makes the minimum in the NBA and makes about $1 million. If he gets that and he's guaranteed to do that, he's gone. The more likely scenario is that Coburn gets a two-way deal where he can shuttle between the G League and the NBA. Two-way deals pay just a shade under $500,000 annually, but, and this is a big but, those deals are not guaranteed. A G League contract is about $40,000, and an overseas contract in a great league overseas likely would net him about six figures. With NIL in place and the Illini Guardians NIL Collective long preparing for a Keep Kofi campaign, Coburn stands to be one of the highest earners in college basketball next season if he wants it. None of us know the exact figures, but $500,000 seems likely, and a million doesn't seem out of the realm of possibility. And boy, is he valuable to Illinois, which if Coburn returns, again would be a Big Ten contender, along with Coleman Hawkins, RJ Melendez, and a top 10 recruiting class. But there's also another value for Coburn. If he returns, barring health, he would become the program's all-time leading scorer and rebounder. He'd basically be this generation's Mr. Illini, similar to Deion Thomas and D. Brown before him. And those guys each landed jobs at their alma maters after their pro careers. Coburn could see similar long-term benefits with another legacy-building year at Illinois. So those are the two options Coburn is weighing right now. Well, I guess there could be a third option, and one that Coburn did go with last year, and that's enter the transfer portal. Please don't do that to us, big fella. Personally, that doesn't seem to be appealing if I were Coburn, why smudge a legacy at Illinois and we really make as much money elsewhere or be as revered? For my money, logic and finances points to return to college, but this isn't always about that. Who could really blame Coburn if he wants to go pro and move on with his life? Regardless, the fact that Coburn even is considering a fourth year at Illinois is a good thing for the Illini. It speaks to the power of NIL. 